Hi guys, how are y'all doing? Cami here. I hope everyone is doing well wherever you're at. Well, um, I got another uh cross that's different from the last three that I showed y'all how to make. It's really easy, really quick, and real simple. This is the cross. So you can tell it has the wings right here. And you use just only half of the uh, clothes pants. And what I did was whenever I did the wings, I get only one clothes pin and I draw a line. So that way I can measure each clothes pins, as you can tell. I do a little bee mark on each clothes pins. See that one's got a little mark. Same one with that one. And depending of how many of these you're gonna use to make a wing. The real reason why you mark your mark a line on the clothespin, as you can see, uh, that way you know how far apart, or that way you know you can put the the clothes pins in the right place because if you don't put them in the right place and they're all crooked they're not going to look right so that's why you want to mark them so and that's why you just use one of these and just mark just make a, a measurement and just just use put this aside and that way that whenever you do wings you can be able to Put them aside like this. And that way you could be able to mark the other clothespins like that. So you will always want to put this aside. It's like a ruler. So what I did is what you do, same thing like you always do with the other crosses. Take the middle piece out, and you want to glue, uh, you want to glue them like so, like this, and then you want to glue two of them like this. So, what I'm going to show you is how to put them together, is you want to take two of these, th Two sides like this. Okay. So, uh, let's see. You want to go ahead and put some glue. On both sides like that because you're going to be putting it all together you want to put just enough to where it hold it because if you don't put enough glue it's not going to hold well I've experienced that too many times so uh, and there is also another type of glue that I'm going to show you in momentarily. So, what I'm going to do is so I'm going to put them together like so, like this. Let's 
straighten this up. And then I put this right here. You want to try to get as straight as possible so that way you can make a, a straight line. Like that. And here, let me show you how to. Sorry for that cover up. See how it's like that? So I'm going to show you how to put them together. You just make a little line right here and a line right like that. And you put them together. See how I got it staying like that? Then What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put Come on glue See what I also did is I put glue along right here and then I'll slide them up Like so. Let me straighten this up a little. Now you have a cross. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make the wings. Or, you don't have to have wings. You can just leave it like that. Either way, it's up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, show you how to do the wings. So, you only want to put a little glue along right here. So, we're supposed to be getting rain today. I kind of feel it. Um, okay, come on, glue. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put glue on all of them so that way I can show you how to How to put them on your cross. Yeah, you want to kind of put enough on there so that way you'll stay. Because if you don't, it's going to go plop, fall apart. So, <clears throat> now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this on first. Here, I'm going to go ahead and stand up so that way I can see it better. And I got glue all, and I got glue all over my arm. <laughs> Darn it! Now you want to find a, the line and put that right there. So you want to do four on each side. I gotta see, I got glue on me. <laughs> well, that's part of doing archer crafts. But anyway, that's how you do the um, the uh, <coughs> 
crosses or the cross. Like I said, you can um, you can do it with wings or you don't have to do it with wings. It's up to you. Because, you know, some people like to have wings on their crosses. Some people don't. It's, you know, everybody's different. So, and, uh, again, yes, I put, accidentally got my arm into the glue by accident. Things like that does happen. So, um, here, just give me a second and, uh, I'll show you how, how it looks after you're done. Okay, I'm fixing to put the last piece on. And like I said, there is a line right here so I'm gonna put go ahead and put this on uh, and it might be a tap it off sometimes crosses like this might be a tad bit off but as long as it looks good so you can stain it and you can decorate it this is very easy very simple to do with your grandkids your kids uh your nieces and nephews uh you can do it with your neighbor's kids you know and So, well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and uh, I hope y'all have fun making these this type of cross. You know, this you know everybody likes different crosses and all that. So, and I hope you enjoy making this cross, and uh, leave a comment below. And oh, uh, also had a got a comment. From someone, and I'm not going to name who. I'm going to uh, leave this person anonymous. Um, this person asked about uh, me, see if I can make wreath. And a wreath. Uh, well, I don't know how, but I did have a friend. That show me little techniques on making small wreaths. And, uh, I don't have the material right now. But, uh, once I do get materi uh, material, I'm going to try out, try making one. And if it turns out good, um, then I'll do my best to make a video and try to explain everything and how to make it and all that. So, uh. Uh, I'm going to uh, try to watch a couple of videos of how to make a, a wreath as well. So, ho hopefully that whenever I do make one, it will turn out good, I hope. Because I've never made one before, so. But, uh, well, I'm going to get on out of here and uh, leave a good comment. And like and subscribe. And y'all enjoy. Love y'all.